Hey guys, Blake here with another video and today I want to talk about a fish that we're starting to see pop up a little bit more commonly these days and that is blue angelfish. Let's jump straight into the video. Okay, so in this tank behind me I've got eight blue angelfish. You probably hear them called blue sapphires, blue pinoys, blue zebras or just generic blue angelfish and from what I can understand in the research that I've done I believe they're all the same, they're just sort of a new name uh, to market them slightly differently. So they all exist under the uh, scientific umbrella of Terraphyllum scalare, so they're scalare angelfish which might mean something to some of you but all we need to understand is that um, if you do believe that blue sapphires are different to blue pinoys, don't put them in the same tank because they will breed with each other. My understanding is that yeah they're the exact same fish and they just come from a different person. So getting more into the nitty gritty, these guys come from the Amazon basin in South America. Uh, they are a cichlid, um, maybe some people aren't aware of that, but they're a unique shaped cichlid so they're easily identifiable from their elongated dorsal and anal fins and they can grow up to 15 centimeters in length so uh, you want to keep them in a super tall tank. This tank here behind me is 45 centimeters or 18 inches tall which I would consider the minimum for angelfish. In appearance they are white and black striped but they have a nice metallic blue sheen to their scales which I think is a really appealing um, thing. They look really nice against the planted tank. They also will enjoy plants and interact with them by swimming back and forth through them. They feel comfort and security in planted tanks as well. So you will actually see them more up front because they'll know that they have that area to escape to if you do present a danger. So, so contrary to popular belief, if you keep them in a bear tank, you'll probably see them less than if you keep them in a fully planted tank because they don't have that security to have anywhere to escape to. There's often a perception that angelfish are mean fish or difficult fish to keep and I would say that there's quite the contrary. I believe that angelfish are very suitable for beginners and they are community safe. Just like any cichlid though, they do get a little bit grumpy and territorial when it comes time to breeding so just be mindful of that. But but for the vast majority of the time I believe that they're a great community safe fish. I keep them in here with some German blue rams, a discus, some, some bozeman eye rainbow fish and a few Siamese algae eaters and whatever else finds its way in there. In terms of tank parameters these guys do best between 26 to 30 degrees celsius which is 78 to 86 degrees fahrenheit. They prefer a pH between 6.5 and 7.5 and under the right conditions they can actually live from 8 to 10 years. So they can make really great pets and bring long term enjoyment which is awesome. They have a really great personality and are quite aggressive eaters so they're not going to be shy and scared away. When it comes time to feeding they'll be right up front ready to get their fill and they will readily take to things like flakes but they also enjoy frozen foods like bloodworms and freeze dried foods as well so give them a nice varied diet and uh, you should find that you'll have a great deal of success keeping uh, angelfish, in particular blue angel. If your aim is to breed these guys I would recommend starting off with a group of six. They're fairly difficult to sex, basically um, experienced angelfish keepers will know the difference through the body shape and a small nuchal hump that the male will develop but for most of us in the untrained eye you, you'll find it pretty difficult to sex angelfish especially at a store when they're younger so pick up six and let them naturally pair off with each other. You'll start to notice two will sort of cruise around together and uh, eventually it will come time to lay eggs. Now these guys like to lay eggs on vertical surfaces whether that be um, ceramic breeding cones that you see uh, f especially made for angelfish and discus but um, in a pinch They'll, they'll readily breed on uh, fish tank glass, intake pipes for canister filters, heaters and anything else they can find. I also find that Amazon sods provide a really nice broad leaf for them to be able to breed upon. So in terms of breeding them just give them a nice um, clean water, nice food and they'll do all the rest for you and raising up the fry is fairly easy as well because the fry will be pretty much big enough to instantly take uh, uh, newly hatched baby brine shrimp so you shouldn't really have too many too much difficulty there either. The parents are pretty good but it can take them three or four goes at it before they get the hang of it so don't be um, disappointed if you find that your first few batches of eggs or fry are eaten uh, when the parents get scared. Overall I think angelfish, in particular these really nice looking blue angelfish, provide a really great choice for any aquarist and I uh, wish you all the best with keeping them. Hopefully you found this video to be informative 
and a bit inspiring. If you did, it always helps me out to smash like, hit subscribe, and all that fun stuff. Other than that, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.